Hey guys, Ron Onesti here at the Arcana Theater with my old buddy. We've been doing this a long time together, Doug Gray from Marshall Tucker Band. We're going to be here at the Arcada on July 12th, and uh, your triumphant return to the Arcada is something we are so looking forward to, Doug. Hey, man, it's going to be good to see everybody again, and you know, you don't just shake hands anymore, you give hugs. You know what I mean? Isn't that great? We lost that for a minute, but we're back to hugging. Well, we're back to hugging. I'm just not going to put a pair of uh, panties over my face anymore. And, uh, oh, that wasn't panties. That was those masks. All right, so I'm, that's all I'm going to say days. about it. Okay. We can talk about the panties over your head days if you want. Oh, I'm sure those uh, those happen. <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, this is a different world that we live in today. Somebody can might take it and put it in the wrong place. All right. <laughs> I'm with you. Hey, before we, I want to talk about the show, but real quick, over your, uh, so would that be your right shoulder? You got those albums, uh, those platinums and golds. What what are those albums up there? Oh my God. Uh, well, they're kind of like the ones that's on that wall over there, but this is where I like to sit and do my work. My girlfriend has her office over there on that side of the house. And so we sitting on, I, I live at Myrtle Beach, as you know, mm -hmm. and it's kind of weird that she's down here and she's from Jersey and, you know, she does, does her work, but she works for a different kind of company that has different languages and stuff like that. So I get a chance to sit over here and learn the language and not know what the hell is going on. But, uh, you know, no, it's, this is fine. It, the golden platinum records there, uh, were put up by my daughter when I first had this house. Uh, they were, they had been in the box since probably four years. So she comes down and she says, why are they still in the box? And she said, I got plenty of, you got plenty of walls. Let's put them up. Now, this is my 31 year old. Okay. So she's saying, she's thinking, come on, fill the walls up, man. You ain't done nothing. My girlfriend, she could care less whether they're up there or not. So, you know, as long as the kid, her grandkids don't knock them down. So, you know, that it's good. We were wonderful and everything's fine. And, you know, I, we, we sold a hell of a lot of records, still selling them. Downloads. Oh, what down. are those songs yeah, that are right what? there that I see those four albums? That, well, hold on, man. I'll tell you. One of them is the original Marshall Tucker, that's a platinum. And then uh, the Searching for a Rainbow. And then the Greatest Hits is a double, but it's not platinum only because we change record labels. People don't understand that, that's what happens. Then the other one is Together Forever. Yep, that's it, Together Forever now. A little sneak preview. Cool. All right, hold on a minute. I'm gonna give you that word. Oh, look at there. They okay. keep coming. <laughs> yeah, I know. They, and I can't, I can't tell you which one. One of them is missing because it got so old that it fell off the wall. Okay, so <laughs> it's not like us. We don't do it that way. I'm not falling, and I'm doing good, and my health is great. Looking forward to seeing another audience like we had before. Oh yeah, well you know we're doing really well. The the, the place is full, and sure. uh, so tell us. I mean, you've been doing it for so many years, but it's always every show you do with us. It's like your first show. You got that much excitement, that much energy. The band loves to play, and you know the hits obviously are are, are going to be there. Tell me a little bit about the show this year, uh, like you've been doing in the past. But I know there's there's always little twists. So what do the people got to look forward to on July twelfth? Well, I think that they'll be understanding that we like to have a good time. First of all, they know that we have representatives that are putting on the show that treat us like kings. They know that. So if we get treated that way and they are going to be the recipients of such a great show because you have always put on a good one. And, you know, there's people that don't know what the hell they're doing and y'all know what you're doing. All right, so that's a very important thing, you know, and, and I know most of the promoters and buyers, <clears throat> per minor, uh, buyers around the world, and, you know, I'm sitting here in front of this desk, and they prefer to do Zoom now or whatever the other one is, Web, but uh, whatever that is, and uh, I can do them both sitting right here, and everybody says, man, I can't believe it, you're, you're just doing this. He said, do you enjoy doing it? You know what, you know how old I am. I'm not afraid to go out there and I'll let somebody else there be a kid over there that's 22 years old. And he said, man, I just, I just want to play. I just want to play. You never know who's going to come in. You never know who's going to jump up there with us. You never know what you're going to do next. Cause as I've explained to you guys and people out front before, I have the same set list for 18 years now, since 17 years last time, same set list. They print out about 3000 of them. It's the first of the year. 
put them at the floor and then I change the songs around based on what the audience wants to hear. And that's the exciting part. That's why it never gets old. But of course it never gets old for me flying 400 boarding passes uh, on the airlines <laughs> going back and forth. Cause I mean, we're, we're already booking. A lot of people don't have no idea about this, but I'm gonna give you a little hint. We're already booking about 30 shows for next year already through UTA and red light. Okay. So when they call up and send me the papers or they send them, you know, where, where are they supposed to go first? They send them to me and they, they do you want to work that weekend? Well, yeah, I guess if you have to, and they know <laughs> I'm, they, I'm cutting up with them. They, they know. So, you know, cause I enjoy working and you know, we, you see those two Marshall Tucker red buses come in, they're ours. And you know, I've got three drivers now, so we're really busting the miles. So what the people can expect is to have a damn good time and don't play the game. Come have a good time. You know, it's it's absolutely, I mean, you might think I'm blowing smoke up your skirt right now, but your show is definitely one of my favorites because, again, the energy is there. It builds up. And and it's like being almost like in your in your in your backyard or in your garage where you're just kind of playing to a bunch of friends, a bunch of family. It's kind of like, oh, what do you want to hear? Let's do this. And you look over to your right and you're like, and you're saying something to your guys. Then you change it up, and then you're talking to the audience and just talking about the stories. But the energy has never waned, Doug. I tell you what, it's such a great show, and your kind of show. Your, your slice of Americana music that you bring to the table, man, was there ever a time that we didn't need that more than now, right? And that's uh, the kind of show that Doug Gray and Marshall Tucker Band brings to the table July 12th, that's this Friday, at the Arcada Theater, oshows.com. We got a few tickets left. Can't wait to see you, Doug. I really hey, can't. I'm going to be ready to see y'all too. And I can't wait. I'm going to pick out the people that were there last time and I'm going to make sure that they and get not just last time, every year, every time they they keep coming back. And that's really a testimonial to your, your band and your level of fans, because they, you, you talk about, you haven't seen, you haven't changed the set list for 17 or 18 years. That don't keep anybody away. That brings people. You know, you, 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 you come to the, uh, you come to a Marshall Tucker show as a, as a as a fan. You leave as an ambassador, and you're telling your friends, and you're bringing them, and that's what's happened every year. It's grown, 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 and people are so excited to see the Marshall Tucker band. Thanks so much, Doug. Can't wait to see you, right. brother. Thank you. I'll be looking forward to seeing everyone. And I got the meatballs on the stove for you. I started to say I don't bring that up, but hey, if you ain't got it, it's all right. But next time, I'm not coming back after that. All right, buddy. Thank you. Thank July 12th, Arcana Theater, Marshall Tucker Band. Uh, come check it out. I'll tell you what, it's something you got to see. Not you can't you see, you got to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I play on words, brother. <laughs> can't you see? Thanks a lot, Doug. Can't wait to see it, brother. Thank you. Y'all have a good one. You too. Bye-bye. Thanks for doing this. Bye-bye.